Hey there, hi there, hello there, and welcome back to day 18 of 25 Tricks of Christmas on Mike's Hard Reviews. Today we've got a really complex thing going on here, and I'm really excited to get straight into it, so no cold open, let's just get right into it. <laughs> I believe it is a Germanic tradition, or a Germanic uh, sort of school, of, not school of thought, but like a thought piece, uh, that there's this being known as Krampus, who comes and takes bad kids away, basically. The, the foil to Santa Claus, essentially. Uh, but it, way, way worse than you would ex uh, expect. <laughs> Today we're making a drink called the Krampus, which is a sort of a rum sour thing. Uh, and it's just gonna be off the wall, crazy flavor combos and really complex. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You're gonna need everything you see in front of you here. Um, I'm gonna use two rums here because we've got a full two ounces in the drink. Uh, I'm going to actually use two different ones. This is a Jamaican and a uh, Dominican Republican rum. This one is more of a dark Demerara rum. This is definitely a Jamaican with that kind of banana funk on there. And that's really what you want here. Something that gives you just a little bit of funk in the flavor to diversify things. You'll also need some lemon juice, uh, cherry liqueur. I'm using a sour cherry schnapps here. It's what they had at the store. It'll get the job done, but something like a maraschino might be more more suited to this, more complex, I would go that direction. You'll need just a little bit of St. Germain and Elderflower liqueur, specifically this one. And then uh, this here in this bottle is honey syrup. This is a one-to-one -one combination of honey and water that have been boiled together to create a pourable uh, honey sweetener. And starting with that further ado, you're gonna need a shaker for this cocktail. And we're going to begin with half an ounce of our honey syrup. Honey syrup is really great for a lot of cocktails because you can substitute it for simple syrup or agave syrup in a lot of different contexts. And it makes a, a, a cocktail that is different from what it would normally be. It's a good way to make things unique. And as such, I would say, hey, if you really want to make a special syrup, but you only want to make one, make a honey syrup and see how it changes the, uh, the flavors in a regular cocktail. Next up, we're gonna do uh, our cherry liqueur here. Um, we're gonna do half an ounce of this. We're also gonna do uh, just a quarter of an ounce of St. Germain elderflower liqueur. Do not overdo this ingredient. You really do not want more than a quarter of an ounce. That's why I bought such a small bottle because I don't need more than that. And honestly, any more than that would be just off the wall flour in your face. We're gonna do an ounce each of both of our rums. Lastly, I'm gonna do uh, an ounce of lime juice just to get our sour component in there. I'm gonna spray it all over all of my shit. Awesome. We'll throw some ice into that, give it a shake, and then serve it up in a coupe style glass. We'll throw our cap on and then shake for 12 to 15 seconds. Gonna grab a uh, cocktail coupe here. And we're gonna double strain this directly into the glass. Before you get to drink, I'm gonna go ahead and just get a couple of cocktail cherries here. I love these damn things. They go great on just about everything, Sundays included. Just list those along the side of the glass. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a Krampus. Let's go ahead and give this a taste. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I think it's a bit overshaken because that cocktail shaker is um, a, a refine, reuse shaker. It's it's thermal walled along the, the base of it, the body of it, but not the top. So I can only use the top to tell how cold it is. And it, it's a whole thing. This feels a little overshaken, but it's got this really nice Jamaican and Demerara rum impact followed by this really bold elderflower flavor. Like you get this rich, dark, burnt sugars and banana peels and, and then elderflower that morphs into berries and, and like, like cherries specifically. And then there's honey. And the honey's really light. It's kind of just there pulling it together, I think. And oh man, oh man, that's good. <laughs> It, it is overshaken, I will say that. This one in particular feels a little light. Um, maybe a little bit of extra syrup would help with that. But, oh man, that is so, so tasty. Come to think of it, actually, if we were to use Orgeau here instead of honey syrup, that would be just as good. Maybe even better. Um, I think Orgeau, cherry, elderflower, rum. That seems like a perfect fit to me. Honey, elderflower, cherry, rum, also really good. So, 
dealer's choice there. <laughs> oh, anyway, it's kind of a quick one today, but thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of 25 Tricks of Christmas, day 18, baby. We're getting really along. I checked my notes there real quick, just, just to make sure it was day 18. Day 18, baby, we are doing good out here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, click that like button down below and subscribe for tomorrow's episode. Up until December 25th, new drink every single day. Thank you all so much for watching. You have a great day. Bye-bye.